I had some a, a bit of a discussion on Twitter regarding showing impact of XSS, especially in bug bounties. Um, there's always this conversation, you need to provide a proof of concept to show impact, to show impact. And that is important, but only once. Once there's one example, like the developers of Blogger or Google Triagers, they once you understand what the capability of XSS on blogger.com can do, you don't need to reprove it. You don't need anybody else to write the proof of concept. You understand now that XSS on Blogger is critical. And so you don't need to reprove that. Alerting blogger.com, the domain is enough. You know, oh, it's on blogger.com. Oh shit, that's critical. That's fine. And so with bug bounty reports, I understand like if it's a new client, a new bug bounty plat, um, program, they don't really have a security experience yet and they want to have a bit of knowledge with bug bounties. Maybe they are not aware which domains are really critical for them, right? They Because they have multiple domains. They have the dev dot something domain. They have the API dot something domain. They have the whatever dot something domain. So they have a lot of different domains and one part is hosting their JavaScript. One domain is holding the local storage. One domain has cookies. Um, so they, they don't really, may, they, they should know, but maybe they don't know yet the impact of it. So a, 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 as a pen tester, if you do an audit or um, if you're a bug bounty hunter, you need to show them once, um, you know, th this is your critical domain. Here's a proof of concept. Here's an example. This doesn't have to be a full XSS though. You can just by looking at you know which domain has the cookies, which domain has the local storage and so forth. Um, this allows you to already assess, okay, this is the critical domain um, without having an XSS in the first place. But once you have an XSS with the proof of concept, that's good enough as well. Anyway, what I'm saying is that once one bug bounty hunter showed that this domain is critical with one proof of concept, all the other bug bounty hunters coming after it shouldn't have to have write a proof of concept again to show that this domain is critical. Um, basically, in my opinion, I think for bug bounty programs, it would be easiest if they li list all their uh, subdomains or domains and they write behind it how critical it is. Because there will be subdomains where the XSS doesn't really matter. For example, a lot of websites, when you upload an image, an avatar, that image is then put um, on a static host. So it might, for example, be put in an S3 bucket and you host the image there. But the website itself runs on a different domain. It just uses S3 for the image. Now, oftentimes you can actually just upload anything to S3 and you can upload an HTML document. And this HTML document can now have JavaScript. And now you have an XSS on the domain of this website. But the, the impact is basically zero because this XSS cannot do anything on the main domain because it's on the S3 bucket, right? So um, I guess that's also why they exclude the domain uh, from the the uh, uh, from the program with S3 buckets. I guess it's clear, but it could also be their own service. Maybe they have an image dot website dot com and uh, where they host static content like this and. You, uh, you you get the point. So uh, I, I don't know where I started with that. What I'm just saying is that once you, once they, they should list their subdomains and write after it, this is the critical domain. If you find XSS here, this is critical. And if you find XSS here, it's annoying. We would like to not have it there. So it's a medium or low. And here are our sandbox subdomains and XSS, and XSS on there doesn't matter. Does that make sense? And a bit unrelated that has to do with a different video I made before. Uh, if your only argument is it's phishing, it's not a valid issue in my opinion. That is not a vulnerability. If it can only be used for phishing, in my opinion, I, I'm feeling pretty strong about that. Um, it's not a vulnerability.